all new carabiner line for BD. Pretty much everything is new for 2020. It's insane. Everything is kind of based off the hot wire. The original BD hot wire was brought to market from the sailing industry in 1997. So everything was kind of based off this. So everything is hot forged. Really what that allows you to do is to do fancier geometry. So the designers are able to remove material from where they don't want it and leave material where they do want it. So ultimately you get a carabiner with the same strength at a slightly reduced weight. That's really what you get. So everything based off the hot wire. So the hot wire was updated. Standard wire gate, two components. Comes in three colors. And it is seen on a lot of our draws. Using this general shape, we updated the Positron to what's now called the Hot Forge. This is the Hot Forge bent gate and the Hot Forge straight gate. So a really similar shape. Big rope bearing surface. These are coarser key lock. The gates have a flat on them for ease of clipping. So only two colors. Hot forge, bent and straight. And we made a locker. So the hot forge locker, your standard screw gate, this replaces the Positron locker and it's available as a single or a three pack, comes in two colors. New for BD this year, which is pretty cool, is what we're calling the light forge screw gate. So this is smaller, our smallest screw gate locker that we've ever done. A Little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, still fully functional, great for anchors or your personal anchor system or wherever it may be. Based off the hot wire, which is arguably considered a full-size beaner, take it one step down and we have the light wire. So this replaces our Neutrino. 695, a little bit lighter than the old Neutrino. Comes in all the rack pack colors to rack your cams, plus the additional three standard BD colors of black, silver, and octane, orange. So that's the light wire. New for this year, little teeny guy. Five grams lighter than the Oz, called the mini wire, so 23 grams. Doesn't have the hood anymore, so it's a standard wire gate, just a shrunk down hot wire, shrunk down light wire, called the mini wire, 595. And it comes in all the standard rack pack colors to rack your cams, as well as the three standard additional BD colors, black, silver, and octane, and, oh yeah, some cool guy colors. Cool guy pink, and, uh, It's, I think it's just called minted, but yeah. So two fashion colors, which would be great for racking your offset cams or using for your rabbit runner or something like that. So a whole plethora of colors. Updated rock lock geometry, now hot forge, still rock lock screw gate, rock lock twist lock, and then of course still the rock lock magnetron. And we still have the grid lock, grid lock magnetron, uh, vapor lock, vapor lock magnetron that aren't shown here. So that's kind of the foundation, the building blocks for the draws. So the draws, we kind of do the three main draws, wire, wire, solid on the top, wire on the bottom, and then solid, solid. So this guy is called the hot wire, of course, because it has two hot wire carabiners. This is your bare bones draw, great value. One reason we do the black on the top of all our draws, the idea is the bright color is what you're aiming for when you're all sketched out and you, and you gotta like get the rope in there. So black on the top and a bright octane on the bottom of the free wire. And these wire gates are just silver. All the other wire gates in the line are black, just because it's cool. And then this is called the Hot Forge Hybrid, because it's got the Hot Forge beaner on the top and the hot wire on the bottom. Two different colors. All the draws come in two different lengths, 12 centimeter and 16 centimeter. Solid gate on the top, wire gate on the bottom, for those that like that kind of configuration. And then replacing the Positron quick draw is the Hot Forge quick draw, solid on the top, solid on the bottom. Again, uh, flat gates for easy clipping. Super nice, boom. This is the draw made using the light wires. So the old Neutrinos with the Dynex dog bone. So this is your, a really burly, robust, still in the lightweight category. There, there are things lighter, but this is still on the burly side of the scale. Uh, with a nice big rope bearing surface so you're not too hard on your ropes. This would be a great uh, trad draw or alpine draw. And then this light little guy called the mini wire quick draw. So this is now 10 grams lighter than the old Oz. These beaners are a little bit smaller, no hood, so that's how you save your weight. But this is a really nice when weight really matters for the long approaches or the big long routes. Really cool. We're also doing an alpine draw using two of the mini wires with this Dynex shoulder length sling. This is different than our 10 mil slings. This is an 8 mil tubular. 
and it's only available on this draw. So it's round, it's not, it's not flat. It just sits really nice. It's kind of size proportionate to the size of the beaners. It's no lighter than the other sling. It's no stronger than the other sling. But that's our Alpine draw, and this also comes in a three pack. So the mini wire, the goal with the mini wire was basically to make a really small light carabiner. So this is probably not gonna be your sport climbing carabiner. This is when weight really matters and you're doing some big long multi-pitch route when weight matters, you could use these guys. Um, or racking your cams, you could use the mini wires or when weight matters, you can go with the, uh, if you're doing an alpine route with the shoulder thing. So this is really, really a weight specific, smaller size, uh, lightest weight thing we could make, 23 grams. Pretty rad. So that's the mini wire. The light wire is a little bit bigger. It's got a little bit more robust rope bearing surface. This is kind of your workhorse, like the old Neutrino. This is really, you know, you can whip on this thing. You're using this in the mountains, still in the lightweight category, but not extremely light. Still big enough that it's totally functional. You're probably not going sport climbing on this, though you could. It's kind of a little bit more of a trad type beaner because it's a little bit lighter where you're going into the mountains. So that's the, the light wire. Now the hot wire is your real general do everything beaner. This is really set for anything. It's on a lot of our quick draws. Big deep basket, easy for clipping, big rope bearing surface. The draw sits really nice in here. We don't sell a whole lot of these as singles because you're not usually racking your cams or something like this. This is usually sold as a quick draw or part of a quick draw. For the solid gate beaners, the hot forge, again, nice, nice deep basket once again and a deep rope bearing surface with the solid gate. This is, you're usually not using a solid gate in the mountains in the Alpine, though you could. Wire gates are lighter and they're less likely to freeze. This is usually used more on a sport climbing draw. If you're gonna make your own draw. Same with the, same with the bent gate. The rock lock family is a big size family. Usually these are, these are seen as belay carabiners or often people are top roping on these beaners, but really it's kind of intended as a belay carabiner. Uh, whether it's a screw gate, the twist lock, or the magnetron, it's really our number one belay beaner. The hot forge screw gate is a full sized screw gate. A lot of people are using these on their anchor kit when they're setting up anchors, trad climbing. Of course, you could top rope uh, through, through a couple of these things. You're generally not belaying off something like this. Uh, for sure, it doesn't have a nice big HMS basket for a month or hitch if you needed to do that. It's generally used in the anchor situation. And then these new little light forge screw gates, a little bit lighter. This, of course, could be used on an anchor situation. You wouldn't want to be belaying off this thing with a month or that's for sure. Uh, I think what a lot of people use with this is on their personal anchor system. It's always with you. It's a little lighter. That's what that locker's for. With the quick draws, of course, you can kind of use any quick draw to do anything, really. Um, it kind of depends on what you like. The, the hot wire quick draw is wire gate, top and bottom. So out of these ones, it's probably the most likely to be used in the winter. People usually like uh, the wire gates and nice big, nice big basket, easy to clip with a glove on. So this is really, if, you, if you're a one draw person to do everything, this is probably the draw that you want. A wire, wire, wire. Um, some people really like solid on the top, wire on the bottom, of course, for sport climbing and track climbing, you can use any of these things. Uh, very similar beaner shapes, just solid gate on the top, wire on the bottom. And then some people are big fans of solid, solid. Some people like the feeling of clipping a solid gate better. These are a little bit heavier, of course, but still super popular. And then when you get to the wire gates, this is the light wire quick draw. This is really your utilitarian trad mountain ice rig, still lightweight, but not super lightweight, nice enough size, clip with a glove, fully functional, drop the rope in there, only comes in this one length, but really a great all round beaner. And then getting a little more specialized with the mini wire quick draw. These are definitely smaller, really lightweight. This is when weight really matters. Um, if you're going to the mountains or doing like long multi-pitch bolted routes or trad routes, this is the guy you would want. And then of course, if you wanted to have um, an extendable sling for mountains, for wandering routes, the mini wire Alpine draw. Light wire and mini wire are sold in the rack packs. Light wire and the mini wire are sold in all individual colors. These draws are sold in 12 and 16 centimeter. All of these draws are sold in six packs, but only in the 12 centimeter. These draws come only in 12 centimeter and are sold in a six pack as well. And this is also sold in a three pack. 
These also come in a three pack. This comes in a three pack. These are all individual colors. These are all individual. All of this stuff is being made in Taiwan, except for this one. This one's still made in Salt Lake. And then we have other beaners still made in Salt Lake, the Gridlock and the Gridlock Magnetron, Vaporlock Magnetron and stuff. So Oz is gone, Hoodwire is gone. Uh, you know, Neutrino as we know it is gone, Hotwire is gone, Positron's gone. Yeah, if you want your Oz's, I'd buy them now, because they're out. But that might be because we're working on something new. Or it might not be, but we might be. Lately, I've been running the pinks, man, and I've been getting, people are digging it. Everyone's like, whoa, no way, sweet! You know, like for real. This is what I've been running is the pinks. Yeah, they're cool. But in the mountains, I, I run this guy. But this is my sport, my sport draw.